Okay, this how-to video is going to talk about cross-placing and cross-probing between AllCAD Capture and the PCB Editor tools. So to start off with, inside AllCAD Capture, we need to make sure under the Options and Preferences, if we go to the Miscellaneous tab, the Enable Intertool inter Communication uh, is turned on. We would then effectively run the Design Sync command, so PCB Design Sync, which effectively imports the, the schematic into the PCB and gets the two talking to one another. We can then effectively um, start to use something like cross-placing. So if we did the, the place components manually from inside the PCB editor window, we could hide this window, and then I could draw a window around um, all these parts here, and then it would then effectively bring the components in in alphabetical order. So this is what the class is cross-place. Cross place. So that will bring those parts in. Um, place that one down there. Um, and then we can also do another window here for these four resistors. And then this should bring in all the parts that I need to effectively get everything done. So once all the components are placed, I can then start to select the part in schematic capture and it would then highlight and zoom and center to the PCB um, on that specific part. And I can do that on any parts that are placed inside the, inside the design. That's also gonna work on net. So I can individually select a net and you can see this is actually netted a net here. Um, select another net. These are unrooted at the moment. Let's go and look at a different page maybe. Um, let's select a, connection here so I've got connections here I can I can uh, window select two connections that I wanted to and I would then zoom in center and show me the items there as well so there's the connections there let's go to another page maybe the high-speed RAM and let's just zoom in here a bit uh, let's just drag select those memory connections and it's going to highlight those memory connections for me and show me them on the PCB um, we can also invoke that the other way. So we could go from PCB back to schematic. What we would do there is invoke a command. So display highlight or display assign color. Um, using the fine paint to drive what I'm specifically looking for, I could then effectively select a net and it would then open that up on the schematic and you see it's gonna highlight that on the, on the schematic design there um, and zoom in on it as well. So we could obviously select the, the net there and it would then highlight for me, okay? We can also, um, let's just clear the selection. So selection set and clear all selections. And what we'll do is we'll actually de-highlight these. So we'll do a display de-highlight and we'll click on all. Once that's done, um, what we can do is if we invoke constraint manager, so set up constraints. Um, let's just get constraint manager so I can look at it. Let's go and look at one of the, the nets. You see a list of all the nets here. So I can find a net here somewhere, select the net, right click and then do a select and show element and it would effectively sh sh highlight the net for me, show me an information portal about that part. Um, let's find another one. Let's just go and find maybe the DQ15. So if I double click on it, it would then zoom and center and show me that inside the PCB. If we go and invoke the display highlight command as well, um, we can effectively, if we select the net here, it's gonna highlight between the board and constraint manager but it's also gonna do the same and show me that inside the capture. So I could obviously select the net here and it would highlight that and show me that in AllCAD Capture. So Constraint Manager, AllCAD Capture and PCB Editor all working in unison.